It is the 20th of September 2017 and it's time for episode 25 of Boruto, The Turbulent Field Trip. And for those of you with a great attention to detail, you may realise that I missed out on episode 24. I do apologise for that, I was away from the house last Wednesday and I didn't have time to set a video to upload to explain why I wasn't there. Long story short, I went camping. It was terrible and I kind of regret doing it, but whatever. These experiences form us. Anyway, enough about that shit, let's discuss a field trip! Man, the Mist Village is looking pretty cool. Although, most of this episode is actually kind of light-hearted and built up to the field trip. And I quite like that, it had a bit of a comedic feeling to it. Like, a lot of the episode was built around little gangs and uh, arguments between the characters, which I really like. In fact, in terms of uh, plot and stuff, there's not really all that much I can think of to talk about. I mean, it did build up in the last uh, five minutes, and I will discuss that in a second. But in terms of the rest of it, it was kind of just the class deciding on Boruto being their representative and then making lots of jokes about it and stuff, I guess. I will say, I did find it kind of funny the uh, when he was tied up upside down and Shino asked the class who wanted to be representative and there was just silence, but there was Boruto flailing around in the trap upside down. I don't know, something about it was just like physical comedy. I don't usually get into it, but that, I don't know, for some reason really made me smile. So, with regards to the last uh, few minutes, it does seem that the internet has kind of gone wild over Kagura Karasuchi, the new guy with the massive pink eyes. Why are his eyes so big? I feel like even characters with big eyes in the series don't quite have such large eyes, but I don't know, this guy's kind of take up 25% of his head, though I suppose that does also kind of describe moe anime in a nutshell. He's cute, I guess. I don't know, I don't really go in for anime boys, unfortunately, so I can't really tell if he is actually adorable or hot or whatever. But from what I've seen, there are quite a few fans of him already, so I'm sure when he inevitably turns evil that people will be heartbroken, or they'll support him anyway. After all, there was a massive fan base for Itachi, and he was objectively kind of a dick until about 400 episodes in. But I really do like the kind of sinister vibe they're building up, and Obviously, this episode, kind of the whole purpose of it is to be the intro to the Mist Village arc or whatever this is going to be. Although, honestly, I do kind of get the feeling this is maybe going to be a little bit fillery. I mean, I've said this in the past and it is kind of difficult reviewing episodes week to week because you can never tell if something is going to be filler or if it's just the start of an arc that feels a little empty, maybe. But regardless, I did kind of like this, that they built up the light-hearted start of the episode and then ended with the kind of threatening tone. Iwabe's mention of it being the blood mist village kind of started off as something like, oh yeah, of course, you've got some dark past. Which will be interesting to see uh, Iwabe because he is a character I'd really like to know more about because he's not actually related to any of the legacy characters. As far as I know and as far as we know, I presume, that his parents aren't anyone we knew in Shippuden or anything. So it will actually be cool to see his background. And I assume it's something to do with the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist, because, you know, he wields a sword and stuff. But I kind of like the, you know, he kind of set it up and then they started wandering down an alley and got in a fight. And the other guys also referred to the place as the Blood Mist Village, so I can't quite tell if they're setting it up to actually be a bit of a dark arc or maybe this is more of a psych out where they're going to build it up and people are going to be like, oh, something bad's really going to happen. But then, I don't know, two or three episodes later, another big bad arrives or something and maybe Kagura helps them? I don't know. Again, this is pure conjecture, but that's kind of what reviews are for, really, just guesses and stuff. But overall, I really liked it. The uh, really brief fight scene between Boruto and that guy in the alleyway was pretty cool. I know it was literally three punches thrown or whatever. But yet again, it's pretty well animated. And I like that Boruto kind of focuses on smaller fights as well. Obviously, larger scale fights are still really fun, and there have been some, but I really like the small half minute fights that are just very brief trading of blows until they, you know, come to some conclusion or whatever. And I gotta call out one or two little things in the episode that I really liked as well. First of all, I did not realise Lucky Chloe had joined their group. For those of you who don't know, Lucky Chloe is a character from Tekken who is objectively one of the best characters in the game. Actually, I think she's low tier, but I really like using her. And man, if you want to get me excited in something, all you've got to do is mention a card game. Twice in this episode, Boro mentioned the Shinobi card game, and I am genuinely really interested now. I know there is actually a Naruto trading card game that I've never really got into because, unfortunately, they don't seem to be selling it in the UK. And on eBay and 
around Amazon, they seem to be quite pricey. But man, the concept of an in-universe trading card game, I know it's not going to actually matter or anything. They're probably not even going to bring it up again. But I don't know, I got kind of excited with that. And talking about excited, it's time to discuss next time where it seems to be more about Kagura and it seems to be like Kagura and Iwabe have a rivalry because they mentioned that Kagura is in line to maybe be the new Tsuchikage Tsuchikage? Oh god, I Tsuchikage, there we are and maybe Iwabe was in the running as well because he's a swordsman and as I mentioned previously I reckon he's probably got something to do with the swordsman of the mist I could be wrong though, I don't know but either way, Kagura has the potential to either be a really creepy character or a cool character. Although he does really strike me as a filler character. Because they always kind of make a design for one or two characters in filler arcs that make them very distinct. But, you know, they only exist for that filler and are never seen again. So who knows? And that about wraps it up for episode 25 of Boruto. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you do want to subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. If you enjoy the video as well, maybe giving a thumbs up would be cool or giving a thumbs down if you did not like this video. And if you did not like this video or if you have anything else to contribute, then do feel free to tell me in the comment section below. As always, I will try to respond to anything that isn't spam about Instagram. And until next time, goodbye.